So in this video, we're gonna be talking about compound inequalities and on a simple idea of what compound inequalities are, they're just equations with more than one inequality. In this case, two inequality symbols. So if I were to kind of give you guys an example, we're gonna look at example two, but you can see here, instead of having just one inequality sign, you'll have two that you'll have to deal with. And sometimes they are all together in one equation and sometimes they use uh, two equations where they're separated by an or symbol. So let's go back to the definition for a moment and understand how do you solve compound inequalities. Well, um, one thing for sure is that having two inequalities attached to x, anything you do to x you need to do to both sides of the inequality. Um, but when you have like an or symbol that are joining the two inequalities together, you'll solve them separately and then what you'll do is you'll use u for union when you have uh, when you join the two intervals together, which I'll explain through these examples here. So um, let's start with the first example in part A. Now you'll see you'll have to solve this compound inequality. Notice there are two inequalities here. You have to show the inequality um, after you solve it, you'll get the inequality, but you need to also show the graph and the interval notation and this example here is just allowing you to practice all those three skills of representation. So let's start with trying to get the x by itself. I want you to notice with this type of equation, the x is in the middle of the interval. And so what you have to do is remove everything off of it until x is the only thing in the middle. So like this negative 10 needs to go. So how do you get rid of a negative 10? You have to add 10 to both sides. But here's the caveat now. You have to add 10 to the middle to cancel that out, and you have to add 10 on the right side and the left side. And so this is kind of weird the first time you see it, but you'll get used to um, the, the flow here. So then you'll bring down your inequalities like they were before, keep them the same. And then 4 plus 10 gives me... Um, 14 on the right, and negative 10, uh, sorry, negative 1 plus 10 is positive 9. And now notice that x is by itself, so that's great. And so this is done. This here is my inequality. So let me box that in because x is now by itself. I have solved for my inequality. So part one is done. Part two says to graph. So you're going to take this inequality, graph it on the line very similar to what we've done in the past. So we need a closed circle on the nine because we notice there is an inequality sign with a line underneath. And so that means that we need a closed circle and an open circle on the 14 because there is no line on the 14. So this says that X is between nine and 14. So I'm gonna shade between the dots or the circles. And so there we go, we have our graph. Next step is to draw our or write our interval notation. So we need a bracket and an open circle or an open parenthesis. So bracket on the nine and a parenthesis on the 14 and we're done. All right, so now this one here has an or. So when you have an or, just solve them like two separate inequalities. So this one here, let's do that one first. So we'll need to get this X by itself. So I need to move the three over first. I need to subtract three. And so that gives me 2x and negative 3 minus 3 is minus 6. And now I have to divide by 2. Now this is dividing by positive 2, so I don't need to flip the sign. Um, negative 6 divided by 2 is still a negative 3. And so now I have this guy here as my first inequality. I do need to bring down the or sign. So I'll bring down the or. Let me do that in black. And now I need to solve for this guy. So this x just has a 4 to the side of it, so we got to divide that off. So the 4 will go away, and now x is greater than, so you bring this um, sign down, 16 divided by 4 is 4. And notice now both x's are by itself in both of the equation, and now this is my final answer. This would be my inequality symbol. Now I have to graph it. So um, when you're graphing or statements, you need to graph them separately. So this one here is at negative 3, and the other one is at 4. They, open, they both have an open circle because they don't have an equal sign underneath. Notice that? This first one says that x is less than 
um, negative three. So that tells me that if it's less than, it needs to be moving in the negative direction towards negative infinity. This other one says x is greater than, because it's pointing towards the x, x is greater than four, so it needs to be heading to the right towards positive infinity. And so now I can see my two intervals has to be from negative infinity to three, using parentheses since we have those open circles, and we have four to infinity, also with parentheses. And because we have two intervals, we are going to use a U for union. And basically, we only use unions or that U symbol when we have an OR statement. And so that's all I wanted you guys to see in example two with compound inequalities. So check out the rest of the problems in the practice problems where you get to uh, try out some other problems that are very similar to the ones above to help strengthen some of your math skills that you just learned. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Bye.